Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another, another video to my channel. My name is James. I hope everybody's doing all right. It's been a been a little while since I've made a video, so I figured I'd give another update on this right here. It's a kind of good news, bad news situation. Good news is I've already started getting a few of the parts I need to replace on this. Like the one wheel that's uh, rusted out, and I can see the inner tube coming through. I think it's that. I think it's this side over here. <clears throat> it's doing it. Yeah. Yeah, this one right here is the one that's doing it. It's been leaking down because it got a big old rust hole in it, and the inner tube might have a slight cut in it. So that's the good news. I was able to get that, but the bad news is. for the fuel line here yeah I could not order a brand new fuel line for this tractor John Deere stopped making and no one makes one that's aftermarket so I get to come up with something that's gonna work because I want to be able to get this line back to where it's supposed to be even if I gotta get some rubber hose and do it where it's at because where it's at i can't push the battery all the way back in so and i see my neighbor's cow is out yeah get back over there boy you know better at least you got out over at the back there and step up front like you normally do <sighs> Oh, brother. I think those cows are having issues this morning. <laughs> but, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, I figured I'd give you all an update. There's, yeah, I can't get a fuel line for this tractor anymore. This John Deere 1010. They don't make it. And that sucks. I'd like to be able to get a an original fuel line, but I don't know they cost too much. But that's not going to deter me. I'm still going to hold on to this tractor as long as I can. And I know it's one reason why it sounds like there's a lot of pumps acting up. It's because you look down there, this panel's right up against that hydraulic line. So, to solve that, I made to cut just a little bit off here at the very bottom where it's not rubbing anymore or pull it back. So, it won't rub anymore against that hydraulic line. But I know the hydraulic still whine, but I had that hydraulic line last because I don't, I don't know if you can get that or not either. I'm going to do a thorough look up on this tractor here and see if it's going to be. If I can actually order parts or if I can't. Now I know I can get the carburetor, thank goodness. And I know get the muffler, but there's a few things I'm not 100% on that I may or may not be able to get. And those are the important ones, like parts for the PTO. I need to see if they still make. Like all the main major components, I need to see if they still make for this tractor. That way if I was to have to rebuild this thing... I can, but I figured I'd give y'all a quick little update on everything. I'm going to try to get out here a little bit later today after it warms up a little bit because there's still around 40, around roughly 48 degrees where it let the sun, let the sun beam down on that driveway a little bit and I'm going to try to use this grater blade for a little bit and kind of smooth it out some more because this winter was awful on it. I think we're planning on getting more gravel here soon, but right now I gotta just smooth it up the best I can just to get rid of some of the bumps. Anyways, I'm also gonna be starting to make more videos on the chicken keep I was building. And more videos are gonna be coming up because in April we'll be getting some baby chicks and well, 
I'm ready to have my chickens back. I miss them. <laughs> Anyways, everybody have a great day today. Be safe out there. And hope you enjoy the day. And if I don't get to make a video between now and the weekend, hope everyone has a great weekend as well. Make sure you enjoy the sights of the cows and how that shit cut off today. God bless y'all.